Thank you for joining us. Today, J Scientific is coming to you from the Ghana Science Planetarium, located in Cantonments, opposite the Flagstaff House. Now, this place was commissioned in 2009 by the then British High Commissioner, Dr. Nicholas Westcott. This place has been in existence for over nine years now, and Dr. Jacob Eshon, who is the founder and director of the place, has been facing some challenges. When you look at all the planetariums across the world, they've been funded by the governments, but Ghana is the only Ghana has the only planetarium which was funded by an individual. Because he, uh, he's facing some challenges, Geo Scientific has come here today to talk to him and find out how we can help him. Uh, my name is Jacob Ashon, Dr. Jacob Ashon. I'm the director and owner of Ghana Planetarium. The project really has a very long history. It goes back to somewhere 68. When I first visited a science museum in London, and then later on, another museum near my wife's village in Hesnonsu, which happened to be the Royal Observatory. I saw domes, observatories. Then I saw a planetarium. And the first reaction was, how wonderful to have this in Ghana to use to teach science. I decided to just save some money, talk to people. And I've been talking to people and friends for nearly 40 years. So when it was time to have the International Year of Astronomy, a friend of mine called me and said, do you have your planetarium going? Otherwise, they will support to get me to be the center. But at the time, I don't have the money. But somebody has called me and said, if you can build a planetarium yourself. We can get you the projector. And of course, the projector is the most expensive item. The building itself can be just fifty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. But the projector can be maybe a million. And indeed, I spent $75,000 of my wife's money, my money, to build a planetarium. And immediately, we got offer of half a million dollars worth of a projector, free. But we have to pay the shipment. And all of that was quick and exciting. We, don't, we didn't even think of the money. We just did it. And because we did it, we became the center during the celebration of International Year of Astronomy. The moment we pay the worker from the money, we get when schools come. Yesterday, for example, we got about 600 Ghana cities because we have 175 school children plus 35 school teachers. We teach them really to understand the basics. And the basic is most of them, when they get here, no matter what time, I ask them which country or countries are still asleep. And many of them don't know Canada and America and maybe the South American countries. So we use that to say, you see, it's about midday, it's sunny, and they are still asleep. What time do you think they will wake up? They don't know. Then I ask them, what country or countries are already into Sunday? Today is Saturday. There are some countries that are already into Sunday. Then I give them, using that, I get them to understand, because the Earth is going around the sun, and also turning around like this, some countries are here, and they're already asleep. And as we turn, they'll be facing the sun and they wake up. Oh, and normally at the planetarium, we just do repairs. When there's no school children, we just do repair, we maintain things, and then we have meetings, we discuss things. But when schools book and they come, then of course we get very busy with what we have to show them. As you can see, we have posters. All the posters are aimed to brief the school children and the teachers or to teach them something before they go inside the planetarium. We are on Earth. And how on Earth do we really do the distance of all the planet from the sun? So I show them what surveyors do, which is measuring angles 
You, you store here, you measure the angle here, and the angle here. And once we use light to know the distance, we can then use geometry to find out the diameter. Once we know the diameter, we multiply by pi to know the circumference. Once we know the circumference, we know the size. And this is how we start magic, the magic of mathematics. It's um, very exciting and uh, very interesting, um, especially when you have the young kids who are always uh, interested in and very curious in learning new things. Even the building alone kind of like excites them. And when they sit down, get the chairs back, look at the top, and by the time we start with the show, they start screaming. Just so excited to um, see the planets coming up and the moons and everything. And they always learn a lot. Uh, even as a show is supposed to um, last for about um, 25 minutes, but um, because of the way they interact with us, um, we end up going for about an hour. We do have workshop, science workshop. And we do invite teachers. Unfortunately, they have to pay. And I think because of the money and the transport, it makes it difficult for some of the teachers and the schools to come. Many of the teachers tell me they can't afford to come, they would like to come. Occasionally, we raise money in order to run free workshop for the teachers. So I think, I think with more support, the planetarium can have science on the wheel. And we go around villages. We have science we can take if we have help with transport. We can put science on the wheel. We can take it around different, particularly the remote areas. Planetarium greatest achievement for the whole of Ghana really is one. We are now dealing with NASA, and we're dealing with SKA, Square Kilometer Array, which is in Ghana, the radio telescope. And because of the planetarium, because of the radio telescope together, and Ghana Space Center, all three together, we work with NASA and the Royal Society, and we make it easier for the international body to recognize the fact that we are all working to improve science in Ghana. And because we have the planetarium, the only planetarium in the whole of West Africa. So Ghana should be proud that we have planetarium. The general public can contribute money, however small, and they can always, also always get groups to come. Anytime they want to come, they ring us, they book, we'll be here to receive them. We want companies to send their group, bound to send groups, and many of them can also offer help for schools that want to come to have transport. Many of the schools can't even raise the money for the transport to come. The government has never put any money into us. We have not received anything. Unfortunately, nothing has come from the government. My name is Akisi Asma. And my name is Sophia Ba. Um, at my school, we have this club, but then they really base it on the seniors, so I don't really get to join and understand most of the things. So it's easier to understand it here. I feel it's very educative because it opened, it opened, when I started, it opened my, my, my mind to many things I didn't know. And I think it's helping me better in school, so I do like it here. Yeah. I relate really from school and yes, I bring what I learned from school to here and what I learned here to school. be very sad first of all because I learned a lot of things and as well if this place was shut down my Saturday would be very boring I'll have nothing to do at home so then I'd be sad <laughs>
If I don't get help, serious help, I may be forced to close down. 